Hi, this is Joe Boucher from Mutual Link. I'm here at IWC 2016, and I'm going to show you a bit about what the Mutual Link solution is all about. Uh, here in the screen behind me, you'll see our PC-based software. Mutual Link is fundamentally a group collaboration solution, and specifically, we are a cross-agency multimedia collaboration solution. And I'm going to show you exactly what that means right here. Uh, so a user at this PC, uh, if he wishes to communicate with someone, I would first create a new incident. <clears throat> Give that incident a name. And I have a list over on the left of the people I may communicate with. And if we go to the tab of everyone, we'll see a, a very large list of people. Uh, these agencies and users you see on this side, uh, these are hundreds of current public safety and critical infrastructure users that are currently on the Mutual Link network. I see uh, many uh, first responder agencies, critical infrastructure, schools, universities, private security, etc. Uh, these, these agencies are all available for instant collaboration with uh, today. For this demonstration, I'm going to go to my favorites tab and select from the folks that I have uh, locally here. So first I'm going to show you how do we uh, communicate with a radio. So a standard LMR radio. I simply uh, go to my radio asset, drag and drop that into the incident. And now when I push to talk, radio check, one, two, one, two. Uh, I have that LMR user on the other side. Now he can push to talk back and communicate. So now we've just demonstrated LMR to PC interoperability, that easy. Now let's get really fancy and show you how that extends to band 14. So uh, you know, LMR to LTE interoperability is a big subject for FirstNet, so I'm gonna show you that today. I'm going to go ahead and do a similar thing. Uh, I'm gonna simply drag and drop a user into the incident. I've just invited in someone on a band 14 device. As we see over here, this is a uh, Band 14 rugged smartphone made by Sonom, and the MutualLink application is running in that device. That user is now in the incident. Now, if that user does a push to talk, he will be able to communicate directly with the LMR radio. And I will be able to do that from here as well. So if you, LMR, you can talk back. And so basically we have full LMR, to LTE, to PC interoperability, simply by dragging and dropping. Uh, a nice, uh, so that's great on the voice side, but uh, a lot of times on incident scenes, you'll have first responders that need to share live situation awareness, or so live video. So um, the, the LTE device user has shared his uh, video screen. I'm gonna go ahead and play that here. So what we are now seeing, this is a live view uh, of what a first responder would be seeing. So he is sharing that from a band 14 device. He's walking around the incident scene and the command post of the incident scene here is seeing a live view of, of, of what he is seeing. And he still maintains complete push to talk capability throughout the entire time. Uh, this solution is full multimedia, so we also have text messaging capability to any devices that support that, uh, file sharing capability, location sharing, uh, you know, blue force tracking capability, so that at the incident scene you can see where all of your team members are. Uh, it very, very useful for sharing situation awareness about the incident scene. Uh, what we're showing here is a tactical on-scene capability. So these small devices, this is a tactical kit that you can have this full group collaboration capability uh, on uh, at an incident scene. And we're using the parallel, parallel wireless uh, band 14 in a box capability to, to radiate a small band 14 bubble. Um, if you also have backhaul connectivity from this incident scene, you will then have that collaboration capability throughout the entire uh, footprint of whatever network connectivity you have. For example, if you're connected into FirstNet at large, you have full collaboration capability with all users on FirstNet. If you have backhaul to the internet, you then have collaboration with all the users beyond FirstNet as well. So that is internet-based uh, agencies such as schools, hospitals, universities, private security, etc. So, um, and from a, from a technical perspective, uh, it's important to uh, understand that MutualLink is inherently a distributed system. There is no big central switch in the middle that controls everything, uh, because if there were, whoever administers that switch would effectively control all communications uh, between all those agencies. And, and understandably, agencies are reluctant to connect their critical communication assets to a service or a switch someone else owns. Uh, so we're able to be fully distributed, each agency, 
maintains full control of all their communication assets at any time, all of their media and data systems. Um, and we, the MutualLink solution allows those distributed systems to seamlessly work together. So that's how we can have a solution on scene, work with a solution that's in a SAO, a system on wheel solution, and then with backhaul works with a uh, full first net or LTE system, and then to the internet at large. Um, of course, because of this distributed nature, the solution works uh, to connect commercial LTE users with band 14 LTE users roaming between those networks. Um, or just interconnecting users from these different networks. And at the same time, of course, all internet-based or other, any users based on any IP transports. So full collaboration, we call that the network convergence, so multimedia network convergence uh, between everyone. And I believe that should be the uh, basics of what we do.